Then in the gospel we hear about a beautiful banquet given by Martha and Mary. Lazarus has been raised from the dead and some of the chief priests, especially what we call, what they used to call the Sadducees, who didn't believe in everlasting life, they wanted to kill not only Jesus, but even Lazarus, because Lazarus was a testimony that there is an afterlife which, in which the Sadducees, the religious leaders, did not believe. Therefore, they tried. They wanted to eliminate not only Jesus, but even this person who was witnessing to the resurrection. Martha was a great host. As you, when you are invited to a dinner, generally who invites you wants to put a big show. Well, that's human nature. Wants to tell you how they appreciate your coming to that dinner or lunch, whatever it is. Martha was that type of person. For Jesus, he tried to, work, to put the best dinner possible. But Jesus preferred what Mary did, sat at his foot, not only uh, we are told in this, in this reading from John, from St. John, that she paid so much money to buy that ointment and spread it on the feet of Jesus and wipe his feet with his hair, with her hair. In other words, the greatest humility of person when he bows and prostrates himself at the feet of the Lord. That's why we make genuflection in front of the Blessed Sacrament, to show him we are his servants, we are his creatures. He is the master, he is the creator. But there was a person, unfortunately, one who should know, have known better, who protested why all this money being spent and not given to the poor. And as you heard, he didn't say this because he cared about the poor, because he helped himself with what was deposited in the collection basket. Dear brethren in Christ, what is the lesson? For Jesus, nothing but the best. If this world, were, if, I mean this church, were built of solid gold, it's not enough for God because everything belongs to him. So many people who complain, why all these big, beautiful churches, why all these cathedrals and all these beautiful linens or wood or whatever? And you answer them, it's for God. And for God, nothing but the best. If you are not ready to give the God the best, you are not entitled to go to heaven. I am sure I didn't see heaven. I've never had a vision of heaven. But I guarantee you that heaven is the most extravagant place that you can imagine with your imagination. We, all of us hopefully will be there and we will see the extravagance that God can make for those who believe and love him. Therefore, when we're in church, try to do the best for the Lord. Those people who adorn the church or, you know, put linen and whatever. Remember that you are doing it for the Lord. Nothing but the best. In religion, we don't satisfy our, our, ourselves with the minimum, but the maximum. You should say to yourself, what is the minimum I can do so that I one day I, I see God in heaven? No. You say always, what more can I do for the Lord? What is the maximum I can give to him? Because he gave me the maximum. He, he crucified himself. He died so that you and I will enjoy the beatitude, the vision of heaven. And therefore, dear brethren in Christ, we pray this morning that we do our best to spread him around, Jesus, somebody who has fallen away, and try to do more and more 
for him. Please stand. Yeah, 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 yeah.